Hello and welcome or welcome back. This is part five of the Nutcracker Suite Brusilla Stocking Tutorial. If you've missed my previous tutorials, um, I do have a playlist going on my channel. So make sure to hop over to my channel and look at the entire playlist. Um, we are starting off with number 70 for the lollipop, which is right here. So I just grabbed um, white and a beading needle and we're going to add some beads and sequins to the stick of the lollipop. And the stick is the same as the staff. We're going to be putting a pipe cleaner in between and folding it over and closing it up that way. Rather simple, so I'm just going to do as much as I can this in this tutorial. So many elements on the stocking. But once it's all put together, it's so pretty to look at. If you know anybody that is working on a stocking, make sure to share my video with them. As we come up to the last two. You can cut it out beforehand, but I just decided not to. Gonna nod our work. And we're gonna cut this out. Grab a pipe cleaner. I like to fold the ends a little bit so that it doesn't poke. I'm just going to guesstimate the length here. Seems pretty good. Okay, so I am going to start appliquing this this ends together, hot dog style. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Grab your applique needle and a piece of white thread, and we're going to knot the ends to create a knot, and then we're gonna cut it because we only need one strand. I find this is the easiest way to make a knot. Just pinch your fingers together as you go. It'll help close the ends. Um, this is the only time I'm gonna show the popsicle stick. Um, if it's any different, then I will show you it, but I'm trying not to repeat too much. 
But this is so simple. If you have to watch it again, you can always um, go back and rewatch it. No biggie. Okay, I like to go about three quarters of the way before I, before I put my pipe cleaner in. Okay, that seems about a good place to stop. We're gonna shove our pipe cleaner inside the stick and pinch the top once more to enclose. Okay, I'm not gonna um, tie it off just yet. I'm just gonna fix this. Let's see what the instructions say. Embroider stuff and applique the front of the lollipop. So we are putting the lollipop together first, and then we will be attaching it to the stocking. Okay, so uh, in that case, I'm going to hide my thread here. Okay, there's the stick ready, and then we need to grab the next piece, Is, let's see, we just did number 70. So now we're going to do number 71 and 72, which is the front and back. So that's pink. Let me grab some pink. Oh, that's not pink. <laughs> There's the pink. Okay. So we are looking at 71. And 72. My daughter decided to cut the felt, so that's gonna be fun to work with. I might have to re like just use one of these and just like redo it, but yeah, kids. Okay, this is why I try and keep all my projects either high up on this table or away because they will accidentally get into it. Ouch. That hurt. Okay. Careful with those pins. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut this away. This is for the back. And I'm debating if I wanna cut this out yet. I might just do the embroidery first. Looks like there's two lines. So the inner line is white. Three strands of outline stitch for the white. So we'll start with that um, since we already have some here. Oh, this is a four strands. This is four strands. I need three. Okay, well, let me get the thread ready and then um, I'll hop to the embroidery. Okay, I'm just looking at what the other color is. So we've got white for the inside, and then we've got the black diamonds, which is dark pink. So it's a swirl of white and dark pink. And I will just start by doing the white first. I'll just do the beginnings of it so you get the idea. So I like to start in the middle because the swirl is going this way. 
since I'm right-handed, it's easier for me to do it this way. If you are left-handed, the other direction might be good, but do whatever makes it, you know, whatever makes it comfortable. So the swirl in the middle is a little small, so make sure your stitches are small, which is a little bit difficult with how many threads we're working with, but it's doable. Just take your time. The other lollipop is going to be very interesting. I've had many of you ask me about it and finally going to be able to do it. So once we're done with the swirls on this lollipop, we will be appliquing it right onto the stocking. Stick and all. So keep going around. I might um, come back in when the white's done and then start the pink. So you can kind of see the difference. And then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, white is done. Now we do three strands of dark pink and we're gonna start with the second swirl. It'll be a really nice contrast to the white and then the pink in the background. And then once we're done with the second swirl, we will cut this out, and then um, we're gonna be we're gonna just like I think I think we're gonna put this in between like so, and make the lollipop. So I'm gonna finish this off camera, and then we will assemble the lollipop. Okay, I cut out the back, and it does look a little bit bigger than the front, which honestly I'm not surprised. When we do some embroidery, sometimes the fibers can um, shrink a little bit so if you just pull it slightly it may meet up i mean i might have to trim it a little bit which is fine so we're going to applique these pieces together and then um we're gonna stuff it so i'm gonna leave a small gap to stuff it with let me grab some pink thread here Start wherever. Um, I'm just gonna look real quick. It says attach the lollipop stick with several small stitches. So the lollipop is gonna go on the back, like that. Once we um, stuff the front, stuff the top. I mean. So we will be enclosing this. Make sure to grab some stuffing.
Now we're getting to the part where we may have to trim it. See how the bottom is a little bit bigger than the top? Which is fine. I'd rather it be too big and we need to trim it down than too small. Getting up to the part to stuff these. So I left a gap open. And we're gonna stuff this. That's the perfect amount. I like to move it around with my fingers just to make sure there's no lumps or bumps. And we're gonna close it up. And if I need to, I will go around the perimeter and just trim off any stuffing poking out just to clean it up. So if I look at the picture, the swirl is about like that. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna grab a pin, just pin it in place. I'm going to hide the tail. There's not enough to do, um, tack it down, so I'm just going to get a new thread to use. And I'm going to applique the stick right onto it, and I'm going to grab some white. the knot in between as best I can. Luckily we won't be able to see it. I'm trying to keep the stick flat. I'm gonna see if I can get away with putting a stitch up here so you don't see it. Otherwise you could use pink and that's fine. Whatever works for you. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Sometimes this is this is one reason why I use two strands to bead and sequin. Because the thread'll just rip. 
I'm not even pulling that hard either. This is going to be fun. See if I can make a knot here. Sometimes you just gotta finagle. Luckily, nobody will see this, so. Okay, lollipop is put together. Look how cute that is. So cute. Now we get to put it on the stocking. I'm going to go look um, at the instructions and see. It says attach lollipop to the stick with several small stitches, which I did. And then use, um, oh, so, so we're gonna put the cording on. So use three strands of uh, dark purple floss at 12 inches to make a six inch piece of cording, not ends. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a little differently um, because that's not gonna be long enough. <laughs> I'd rather make it um, a little bit longer and cut off what I don't need because um, the six inch piece is only this big. And it's really hard to tie a, a bow tie with a six inch piece. So I'm actually gonna make, um, let's see, I don't wanna double knot it. So if I, if I make 24 inches, that should be plenty, plenty long enough. So I'm just gonna set this aside and we're gonna grab some dark purple. I would much rather make cording that is too long and I can cut short. So dark purple, we need how many strands? Three? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna make the cording. And I have a separate video for cording. Um, so you can watch that. I'm debating if I should show you how to make it. Um, Cause my floor is a mess. <laughs> I don't really wanna <laughs> film my floor. There's two strands and I need one more. So I'm gonna grab one more. But cording is really not that hard to make. Um, and once you get the hang of it, it's rather simple. So I'm gonna grab one strand from this group. Okay, so we're going to cut this. These are um, 36 inch long threads. So if we want to do, it says 12 inches, but I want to do 24. Let me zoom. I can't zoom out anymore. Using the um, 
ruler on my mat down here. You can see that. The numbers. Okay, so I'm just going down here. And measuring from one. Here's 23. Try not to stretch it. Moving it over one for 24. So there's 24 inches. And if I cut that in half, that'll make 12. And then um, it'll twist up like that. And um, that'll be plenty to work with. Um, okay, so I'm going to trim it. Here's the excess. I could probably use that for something else. I'm going to make some cording. So you'll need a edge, so like, a, like a, an edge surface like this. So like the end of a table, and excuse my mess down here, <laughs> uh, and my feet. Um, but you're going to need a table and um, some tape. I use painter's tape just because I have it. I'm using some tape and I'm going to tape down the end really, really well. And basically, you're going to grab a pen. So, grab a pen that has one of these thingies on it. And we're going to twist it. So, we're going to twist and twist and twist until the entire piece. Goes like that. So I'm just gonna twist it and twist it and twist it. It's a big piece, so. I'm just gonna bring it up. And again, I have a tutorial, so. So if I pull it, it'll recoil on itself. That's what you want. Take your pin. And then take, you're going to meet both ends together and then you're going to let go. And it's going to twist. Twist and twist and twist and twist. And when it stops twisting, here's your cording. Super simple to make. Okay. I gotta fix my camera. Okay. There's the cording. And what's good about having extra is you can fiddle with it. So um, I'm going to knot the end of my cording so that it doesn't unravel. And I'll just trim it off for now. We will be trimming it more. But there is the piece of cording. See how much easier this is to work with? So this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So about eleven inches. So a little shorter than I wanted, but it'll still work. There'll be plenty of cording to make our bow. So now it says tie the cording into a bow around the stick at the bottom of the lollipop. So we're gonna take our lollipop. And what you could do is you could get some uh, dark purple and tack it onto it so it doesn't move. But we are just gonna 
tie our bow. See, this would be so difficult with with shorter um, cording. I'm having a difficulty now, and it's not that short. I'm gonna make the loops a little bigger. There we go. Okay, there we go. We're doing something now. All right, much, much better. See how easy that was? I mean, easier. Can, can you imagine having half that length? That'd be really difficult to do. So, now we have our bow now. Look how cute that is. You can keep it at this length if you want. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna tie the ends so that they match. Cause this end is not tied. So I'm gonna tie it. So that it matches the length that I want. Which is about there. So I'll see how short that is. So. This is what I mean by having access. So I'm just gonna make sure that my knot is about the same. It's about the same. Roughly. Okay, so we're gonna trim. Trim the ends. Okay, perfect. See how much access I had left over? If you want, you can do a tack down stitch right here. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it. You could also put some fray check here. Um, you could also do a tack down right here so it doesn't move around. I ended up doing it a little bit shorter, so. I'm gonna tack it down in the back. This is totally optional. But if you want your bow to stay, this is a good idea. So I'm just gonna take my needle. I'm gonna come up, I'm trying to go through the knot if I can. There we go. Through the knot and then back down. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. There. Cute. Okay, now I'm going to tie it off. doesn't go anywhere. And you won't even see it because it'll be on the back. There is the finished lollipop. So now I'm going to attach it to the stock. Okay, so it does say to attach it after, att attach the bow after you put the lollipop on, but um, it doesn't matter either way. So you can wait until after you put the lollipop on the stocking to attach the, the bow, or you can do it the way I showed you. Either way, um, whatever works for you. So um, I was just reading this over and it says attach the completed lollipop to the stocking with several stitches and then use the um, cording. So Oh well, I mean, it gets the same results and uh, it looks cute either way. So we're going to attach this to the stocking. Where are all my pins? I swear. <laughs> all my little like pins with little heads on them. I keep losing them. I don't know where they are. Okay, so 
So I'm just looking at the picture, make sure the position's good. I think the position's good. Looks like the cupcake's gonna cover some of it. Let's see what this says. So yeah, that's about the right, okay, so we're good. I'm trying to make sure the position of the lollipop is good. So we're gonna take our white, we're gonna go up and down, and then we'll take our pink and go all the way around. And if you've been following along since the beginning, you should be good at this by now. So we've been doing, we did this with the staff, and uh, we did this with the beard and the mustache. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. So if you haven't watched those, make sure you watch the rest of the tutorials. You don't miss anything. But I'm just trying to save time on this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this, and then we'll work on the next all right, we're working on the next lollipop. I already made the stick, which you know how to make. So we're just gonna, you're gonna make that and then set it aside. And um, we're gonna cut out number 74. And I'm in the process of rolling it. And um, it says, start rolling the purple felt up in a tight coil, securing in place with the purple floss. So I'm just taking my clips and slowly rolling this. And it's a little tedious, so I'm just kind of going in thirds, pushing it down, and then um, doing my best to roll it. It's a little tricky, but I find that the clips are helping quite a bit. So I'm trying to pre-roll <laughs> my felt. See how fiddly it is? But once you get it in place, it's not too bad. So I'm just prepping it for when I go into the stitch, I can actually like stitch it up and not have to roll and stitch it at the same time. So this will take me a little bit to do, but um, <clears throat> this is just the process. Trying to make sure that the one on the inside is a little bit shorter than the one on the outside. Luckily, felt is stretchy. So if you need to stretch it out just a tiny bit, you can. Just don't do too much. So I'm just kind of folding it in thirds, like so. And we're gonna do this all the way down. And if I run out of uh, clips, I'll just start sewing and then um, go from there. But that's what I have so far. Again, it's very finicky, so take your time and get it, um, get it nice and folded and make sure that the folds are not too, um, like, there's no wonky folds. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off camera because this might take me a while, <laughs> but that's what I have so far. So we will jump into the next section once I have, um, you know, once I'm ready to sew, so. Um, continue with this and we'll do the next step. All right, it kind of looks like a centipede, huh? <laughs> they got the entire thing clipped and I'm just gonna start on this end. And we are going to applique the ends together so that it stays folded. I'm gonna hide my knot. There we go. And we are gonna go along this edge right here and applique the edge 
to keep the fold. And as we go along, we'll just take the clips out. And this should hold the fold. Because eventually we're going to be <clears throat> coiling this into a lollipop. As you can see, this is going to take some time, so I'm going to finish this off camera, but you get the idea. And once we're done with this step, we will be adding the white stripes, which consists of three strands of white, and they're going to be wrapped around the felt. And uh, they are about a quarter inch apart, I think. Or every, every, it says every quarter inch. That's what it says, yeah. Wrap the white floss over the purple felt, creating a stripe about a quarter inch. So each stripe is a quarter inch wide, which isn't very big. And if you look at the, woo, <laughs> gravity works. But if you look at the picture, the stripes vary in sizes. So, yeah, we'll just have to do it by eye, I guess. Because a quarter inch is not that big. I mean, that's a quarter inch. So, if we did a quarter inch all the way down, that's way more stripes than the picture shows. But let me finish this off camera and um, and then we'll go from there. This is all ready for the stripes. Just give you a visual of what they looks like folded in each other. Um, I'm gonna guess, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna swirl like this. But anyway, so I grabbed some white thread. Uh, we need three strands. And the instructions say that each stripe should be about a quarter inch. Um, it looks like, from the picture, it looks like it starts out that way, but then they get bigger and bigger as they go out. So I am just going to eyeball it. Um, but it's always good to have a ruler. So this is my ruler. So every, every dot is a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, and then the lines are an inch. So you want a quarter inch stripe um, I'm not sure it doesn't really tell me hold on let me see so here is the picture interesting okay so the picture shows these are about a quarter inch and the photo that comes with it are bigger so I guess it just depends on how you want to do it. So maybe like, let's see. So every, every inch have a quarter inch. Sounds about right. So let's start with um, <clears throat> some purple. Yeah, so we're going to have a purple end and we are going to I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to, am I going to go like this with it? I guess I'm going to go like this with it and swirl it like this. So if that's the case, I'm going to, probably going to add, like I'll start half an inch in and I'll add, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the folded side and come out this way. And my um, crease is going to stay on the bottom. And I did not the end here, but we will be covering it. So now I'm going to take 
my thread and we're going to just go like this. That's about a quarter inch. Yeah, it's about a quarter inch. So what we're going to do is I'm grabbing the needle. This is the bottom. And we're going to go like this. I'm going to come like on the bottom here, but underneath. And go back down here to secure it if it doesn't knot up on me. Like that. And tie it off. And if you keep all of your knots in one area, And it should be should be good. So I'm just gonna use my purple stitches as a place marker for all of my knots, so that when I am uh, ready to swirl it, you won't be able to see any knots. So. That's kind of my thinking. There's not a lot of instruction for this. Um, I'm just going off of the picture. Um, <clears throat> the only thing it tells you is how big to do the stripes. So me personally, I think um, if you look, if you actually look at a real uh, lollipop that's like this, they're pretty uniform. So every after every uh, quarter inch stripe, we're gonna go an inch. <laughs> and then add another quarter inch. That should look good. <clears throat> I mean, that's, I mean, I could get away with doing it a little smaller according to the picture. So if I did a every three quarters of an inch, I could also do that. So start here and then have a stripe start here and end here and so on and so on. So it's really handy to have one of these rulers on your table. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. So we're going to go three quarters in and see how it looks. So three quarters in, it's about here. I'm gonna go over just a little bit to hide my knot. <clears throat> Looks about right. Not bad. I'm gonna come back down here, make my knot. As you can see, this is gonna take some time. So when you're doing this part, make sure to go slow, use some kind of ruler, and have fun making these. Okay, not too bad. So yeah, so when we when we end up swirling it like this, it's gonna go. It's gonna be offset. So the bigger the swirl, the offset. It's gonna start offsetting it. So we're gonna have one here, and then one here. <clears throat> so it's not gonna all line up, which is good. So. All right, I'm going to continue this off camera 
and then we'll start swirling. Okay, it took me quite a while to finish, but I was able to finish it, and it looks pretty good. Um, it says to coil it up and then attach it as you coil. So I'm just grabbing another piece of purple thread, and starting in the middle here. I'm pretty sure the swirl goes um, this, they did it this direction. So the swirl is this way, but I'm gonna actually do it, um, let's see. So this way, I had to do the other end because I want my stitches to be on the bottom. So if we're gonna do it like that, then we're just gonna pinch it and roll it. And as you roll it, you get to stitch it. So I'm just gonna really make sure this um, bottom is stitched really well. And it doesn't have to be pretty, because you won't see it. You want it to be solid. As you twist, add some more stitches. We want just enough stitches to keep the swirl. My thimble would come in handy right around now. And as you go around, the swirl will form. I'm trying really hard um, not to pull too hard because the stitches, like this floss is cotton so it will snap. And if you look at the front, it looks like that. So just keep going around as you're swirling, put the stitches, put your stitches in the swirl to keep it there. I like to use my stitches right here to reinforce it too. It'll slowly come together as you're going around. Keep it taut. It's getting easier the more I'm doing it. It's good so far. almost halfway done. So continue doing this until you run out of material and you'll end up with this nice clean swirl that you've put hours of work in. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it because look at it. It looks so cute. All right, I'm gonna continue off camera because I've got a lot to do. So I'm gonna continue this off camera and we will then attach the popsicle stick to it and then we will put the entire thing on the stocking. Completed lollipop. <clears throat> 
And um, I already showed you how to do the stick and the bow, so you know how to do that from that. But um, I wanted to show you the back and what it looks like. And yours will look different than mine. Just throwing that out there. Now positioning, we are going to put this right here. I'm using this picture for reference. So that looks pretty good. We're going to tack it down with some stitches. I'm going to see if I can clip it so it doesn't move. That seems to do with the trick. I'm going to start with the stick first and then we'll, move, we'll um, attach the top. So I'm just going to put some tack down stitches and then tack down stitches and that should do that should be it so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera it's the exact same thing i did with this lollipop so it's gonna look like this in the back same thing so okay once we attach the lollipop we'll do the next step so i was able to get the stick on and i was gonna start doing the top here and i just realized i don't want stitches to show so um I'm gonna do this a little differently. I'm actually gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna add stitches back here around the perimeter. And these won't be seen. I'm basically using my fingers to grab the back of the um, the back of the um, lollipop. I'm just tacking it down in the back. That way we won't see it. So once I go all the way around, then I'll tie it off, and then I'll be just enough tacked down for it to stay in place. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. That way when you turn it over, you won't see any stitches. So that's what I'm going to do for this, and then we'll work on the next okay, one. We're done with this one, and it looks like we have one more lollipop to make, and it sits right here, and if you look on the picture, it's similar to the pink lollipop. And sits right here and it looks fairly simple to put together so um, it's the same uh, white so we're going to do a white swirl here it's going to go the opposite direction um, or no it's the same direction nope it's the opposite direction <laughs> so it's the opposite direction of this one um, we're going to be working with like a peri the periwinkle felt and it does have sequins on it and it's basically a combination, well, not really a combination, but it's basically the same as this one. So um, we're going to get all these pieces together and um, I'm going to just go ahead and embroider it off camera because it's exactly the same as this. So I'll just show you how I um, place it on the stocking. And again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'm happy to answer it. So I'm just trying to be efficient in our, in our tutorials and um, we'll just... Uh, Skip to the part where this is already finished because it looks fairly simple and we'll put it on the stock. All right, I've got that third lollipop all done and attached. This one was the easiest out of all of them. Um, so pretty easy to put together. I'm going to end this video here just because it's getting long and uh, I'll just call it the lollipop video because <laughs> that's basically what we did this tutorial is make all these cute little lollipops. And I really like how this turned out so cute it looks like so much work went into it when really it wasn't too bad actually um in next week's video in the next video we will be going over let's see where we're gonna start so i already finished where'd my pencil go we already finished this lollipop did all this, did all this. We'll be working on candy swirls, 79 and 78. So down here.
And then let's see, we're gonna start on the gingerbread house. Ooh, fun. Okay, so we're gonna make the swirl and the gingerbread house. And then let's see, more candy swirls. More candy squirrels. Uh, the this candy stripe. I think there is a candy stripe right here. So it's right underneath the house. Candy swirl, candy swirl, and then we've got. I think, I think it's a donut. Let's see if it's a donut or not. We've got a cupcake. Cupcake. Cream puff. It's a cream puff. How cute is that? So all the little sweets on the bottom and that's the front that's that's uh that'll be the the rest of the uh stocking is making the, the gingerbread the candies and the sweets over here okay well we will be working on the very bottom of the stocking and finishing the bottom and i can't wait to start on a little gingerbread house it'd be so fun so if you uh, liked this video leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel it's totally free um also i do have a um, a fun little membership. Uh, click the join on my channel to uh, support this. Uh, support me and um, every little bit counts so um, that I can make videos like this and uh, provide information and answer your questions and you get cute little perks and everything. So check that out on my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Um, check this video out. I'm sure you'll love it. I'll see you then.